What's up? Um, it's Hafo again, and I've got uh, a nice tutorial for you guys today. Uh, it's just, I got 30 likes on my other video, which I asked for. But I asked for 20 and not 30, which is amazing. So thanks for that. Um, and I promised in the video that I'd do a, a colour correction tutorial. And that just so happens to be what I'm doing now. And it's going to be on Magic Bullet Looks, and I'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to do today. I mean, all these colour corrections you can change around. I'll uh, put a download link in the description. And yeah, so here's the raw file. Just let it load. Uh, you can see it's pretty bland, not much to it. But then if I go down, there's it with the colour correction. As you can see, it's nicely, it's got a nice vibrant colours. Got a bit of blur at the sides and uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice tutorial. So all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to show you the settings and you just copy them down or whatever and uh, yeah, so let me just open up my uh, After Effects project. And as you can see, I've got it here. And uh, so, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your um, just download Magic Bullet Looks. You can get it on the internet. I'm not going to talk about that. Um, and drag it onto your clip. Uh, mine's just a screenshot. And then once you get this, it'll say Edit. So you want to click that. And uh, it'll come up with a new window, Magic uh, Looks Builder. And uh, as you can see, here's mine. That's the correction. So I'm just going to show you guys what each thing has. And uh, yeah, you can just copy these down. It's really simple. Okay, so you're going to want to add to the lens at the side here. Lens. And add some... I think it's Vignette. Yeah. And uh, you're going to want the radius to be uh, 0 0.814. Spread 1.0. Uh, fall off 0 0.5. Uh, strength 8.0% and exposure compensation just go um, 0 0.00 so it's just th uh, that creates like the nice little layer uh, it's just a bit of a darker bit in the middle and it's pretty nice you can obviously change this make it a bit darker everywhere else but I like it how we've got it at the moment okay so edge softness this creates this little blur around the sides as you can see uh, you can change the like the size of the blur, obviously, but it's nicest I think like this. So the blur size is 3.0 percent. The quality is three. You want uh, your center and your Y just to be zero percent. Your radius is 1.444, and your spread is 0 0.487, and that just creates like this nice little bit around the sides, which lots of editors and stuff are using now. So curves. Uh, this bit is kind of for you to mess around with. The best way I think to do the curve is like this, you got to have it at the top, this controls your brightness as you can see, you can darken it or just increase it. So um, you want your two top brightness ones, so there's five little spot things. The two at the top are going to be pushed up above this line, like so. The middle one just stays where it is and the bottom two just bring them down like so not too difficult and now we're going to add some saturation which will be added to the post which you can go here oh yeah I forgot to mention the curves is under the camera tab here so you just drag it down anyway saturation you're going to want to add 110% um, saturation uh, the exposure compensation compensation yeah. zero um, you're going to want um, your R at 0 0.413, your green at uh, 0 0.929, and your blue to be at 0 0.862. And or you can just play around with it by just dragging it down here, like so. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to go on lift gamma gr uh, green gain. Um, I just want to do these um, numbers here. Gamma space 2.20. Um, strength is 100%, um, and your exposure comp compensation is going to be 0%, not just 0. Uh, now your lift, you're going to just want to drag it over to this blue bit here, which and uh, the red for that is 0 0.919, uh, the green is 0 0.911, uh, the blue is 1.033. For the gamma, it's red uh, is 0 0.838, uh, 
Uh, your green is 0.612. Your blue is 0.623. Yeah. Right, yeah, just... Uh, your gain, uh, they're all set to 0 0.997, which is pretty much centre, I think. Anyway, um, sorry if that was a bit, like, a bit boring, but that's what you need to add. I will put the uh, link files in the description. I've got, there's a, another one there which you can have a look at if you like it, I don't know. Um, and just, also, there's a load of presets here you can have a look at. Like, there's different ones. I quite like, uh, it's under popular film and it's called Blockbuster, I've used that one before. Which, like, creates quite a nice darkened effect, quite nice for, uh cinematics. Uh, anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys and uh, please drop it a like and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.